hope we can set up for the grab and try to KO him. Unless we get hit by forward smash first. Yup! What's up guys, JTales here with another video and today we're going to be doing tournament mode specifically with ALF. Uh, there's someone who's been asking for me to play ALF for I don't know how long in the comments. So I figured, hey, why not give the guy a break and play this character in tournament mode. See what I can do with the character. Just a disclaimer, I don't really play Olimar or ALF that much, so... Alright, 32 man bracket. But yeah, there is no distinction between ALF and Olimar aside from aesthetic. So, let's give it a shot. Um, definitely... Olimar did get nerfed on his shield, which is I think is a glitch that they need to fix, but I think we're working with what we got right now, so. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'll take it as a challenge. So we do have Squirtle first thing. I'm expecting side B. Yes, we did see side B first thing. Ivy. Down throw fair? No, nope, not quite. Down throw run up fair is the ticket. Okay, gets the flare blitz immediately. Side B, and we can get we can punish that with a fair almost every time. Forward smash to punish the landing. Ivysaur is going to pay us a visit, it seems. Almost got the punish. Always make sure that you have a purple Pikmin when you are recovering, because that allows you to Definitely do a better job with getting people off of your back. Yep, back throw. Blue has the strongest throws out of the Pikmin. So definitely... Ooh. Okay, Flare Blitz, Up Smash. And we can combo off of Up Smash. Seems like this Pokemon Trainer is just very... That's right! Olimar's shield got nerfed, so things will just go through his shield, even if you're blocking. This is a bug that Nintendo added into the game after the recent patch. So I was shielding that Flare Blitz and then guess what? It went right through my shield. Flare Blitz. Oh, I tried to bait it out actually. Ow. They're out of shield. And we're just gonna punish <laughs> that raw Squirtle landing onto the ground. Um, so what we should be doing is just kind of like more up smash out of shield, even though it's harder to play Olimar out of shield these days, since his shield has been nerfed severely. Um, so we're actually going to have to just space a little bit better with side B, forward smash, and pivot grabs. Okay, and the Wario did end up taking the fir the their first round, so we're up against Wario. So we have to just be careful of waft, obviously, be careful of back air and bite. So we do want to keep moving a little bit more in this matchup and use our pivot grabs to punish landings on Wario. I don't know, you might be able to eat Pikmin, I don't know. Okay, looking for the bite once again. Okay, you can just keep biting them, that's cool. Didn't know that. My Pikmin did not come out to attack. He does not care about that damage. That damage is very significant, dude. You gotta get it off of you. If a Pikmin is on you, guys, do not let it do its thing. You have to attack it off. Okay, he's coming down for me. Wow, Pikmin did not swing. 
Bike. Yeah, that was a good toss. I should have uh, kind of gone out instead of in. Down throw for now. Up air. No, he's going to double jump, right? Yeah, at this point, I don't think we need a white Pikmin. I think we need a stronger one. Okay, a lot of these will KO. Up smash. I should have tried to grab him there. Yeah, get up attack from the ledge gets punished with that range. F smash takes it home. So another thing is managing your Pikmin lineup. Really, really difficult to do while you're playing. But if you main this character, I expect you to be a lot more adept at managing the lineup. Um, I don't main this character, so I do have to think about it as I'm also thinking about what my opponent's doing. Um, Olimar is not an easy character to main. Very, very technical, and there's a lot that goes into the character behind the scenes that a lot of people don't realize. Alright, looks like we're up against Lil Timmy. Lil Timmy, TM. Okay. I think this is fine. <laughs> Lil Timmy. Let's do it. But this is he's gonna really just rush us down and really force us to keep him out. Yeah. Alright. He is not afraid to grab either. Okay. A lot of jumps coming from Roy, so we can kind of anticipate this next time and get bigger punishes out of it, since we see that he very much likes to jump a lot, right? So we can kind of scout those out. Seems to spot dodge after committing to something big. Yep, we're just going to gain our footing with the Pikmin. Wow, we died very early there. And <laughs> we just steal that KO right back from him. Just gonna make sure that I have a full lineup here when dealing with Roy. Because we know that he's not going to respect any of our moves or our space. Getting all in our grill. No matter what we do. Big punish there. Keeps air dodging down to the ground. No bueno. Forward throw. Because up throw would not kill yet. Waiting for a roll or something spicy. Okay, now we can set up for the grab and try to KO him. Unless we get hit by forward smash first. Yup! The classic, I'm gonna throw out my heavy commitment and if I miss, I'm going to spot dodge. Guaranteed! And if you notice, I just charged that forward smash for quite some time, and then we let it go. It's classic. It's classic. I should put that in, in a bad habits video. F smash, spot dodge, down smash, spot dodge, down smash, roll, spot dodge, down smash. Like, all that stuff is panic. It's panic options, and you're not controlling your character in an appropriate way. Okay, Donkey Kong, so a big boy is gonna attack us now. We, we just really don't want to get grabbed by him because then he starts juggling us and Almar doesn't have really great ways to come down but the good news is that we can keep him out. So where is the dash attack? Okay we're gonna punish that with a grab as well. 
Okay, we're gonna keep it going. He keeps kind of falling right into us. Double jumps every time. A lot of smash attacks coming from this DK. Forward throw. I don't think up throw would kill just yet. Yeah, really, really big swings coming from this DK. And I think they're definitely getting him into some trouble. Okay, nice up B. Yeah, going heavy. Way, way too ham, dude. If you guys noticed, I was also very ready for that down air, right? He was just... You could just tell by someone's gameplay exactly what's going through their mind. What was going through his mind is, I need to hit you as hard as possible. I need to make the biggest play I possibly can. And you can tell by his positioning and his general playstyle how he was going to play and that that down air was coming. So this is just a habit I want you guys to start getting into. Getting into your opponent's heads and trying to read options like that because... I was already moving out of the way before he did the down air. I knew he was going to do it before he did it, so. Okay. There's a Lucina in the finals, so I got to be a little bit more careful with how I approach. And Lucina, very good character. Okay, aw, uh, not enough damage there. Not paying attention to my lineup. Okay. Down throw. Oh, we can't we can't get the fair there. A lot of side B just on my shield. Yeah, I couldn't attack that. That was unfortunate. Wi-Fi is definitely a thing. Of course people want to dash dance when they get a stock. We can still bring this back though, guys. 100%. We need a blue grab. Yep, that's gonna be a stock. Can we do it again? A lot of dash dancing from this Lucina. Definitely want the white Pikmin on Lucina. Okay, nice positioning. I'm gonna go high. Going for a lot of those jumpy high options. We notice I'm kind of like, obviously I'm, I'm a little character, so it's hard for me to get up there and punish some of these, but now I can't use my shield because of the shield break. But we can start to read some of these jumps. That's not going to hit. Oh, and it looks like we're going to time. That is very unfortunate. They didn't really have the, the means to actually do much about it. Yeah, the up, that's not really how I wanted to win. Um, but obviously when you're fighting a character that has really, really good hitboxes, you have to play around them. You can't swing willy-nilly, and Olimar doesn't have great range, right? Um, obviously forward smash right with Pikmin, but... Aside from just forward smash and like pivot grabs, the range on Olimar really sucks. So Lucina is able to come in and oppress him, and I had to just be really respectful of that situation. So yeah guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely a change of pace. I played a character that I never really touch, um, so you guys got to see me struggle a little bit and maybe overthink a few things. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this type of content and want to see more of it. Let me know in the comments which characters you guys want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time.